What is up guys, Ben here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to go over the Supreme drop that just happened, I want to go over last week's drop real quick, talk about my recent pickup, that's going to be exciting. So this week was highlighted by the Supreme Marvin Gaye collab, and also consisted of 5 winner tees total. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. The first thing on the list we got the Gore-Tex 700 Down Parka. It comes in a black, a brown, and a green, and it has like reflective text on the back here. I personally think it's not a bad looking parka, it's kind of simple, but it's also kind of cool looking. That being said, do I need a parka like that? I'm looking at retails while I'm talking about this. $648 is quite a bit. Up next we have this Snowflake Fleece Coat. I don't think that's the actual name for it. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. The actual name for it is the Snowflake Toggle Fleece Jacket. This is, you know, it almost looks like a wool, a wool coat to me. It comes in a green and yellow, a black and white, and I want to say a like a, a cream tannish color. Oh, I don't think it's a bad looking jacket. I don't think it's for me. I don't think I would have picked it up. To match that, you also have the Snowflake Neck Gator. I definitely don't need that. <laughs> I don't know how how I would wear that. I don't know how I would go about utilizing that. So that's a no. Up next, we have in terms of outerwear the thermal zip up sweatshirt. This came in a plethora of colors. Has the supreme embroidery across the back hood. Inside thermal cotton lining. It looks like a comfy sweatshirt. I don't do zip up sweatshirts. So this would automatically be a pass for me. However, if I were to go for it, I would go for that red or that light blue because both those colors look really nice. But other than that, that that's not for me. Uh, this motif, motif long sleeve top, no, not feeling it. Weird looking pattern, interesting colors, not feeling it. What I am feeling, however, is this Rose's corduroy shirt. I think this piece is certainly underrated. I think it's underrated, underhyped, but I, th I like that for that reason. This comes in two colors, it comes in like a darkish blue and then a red. I think the red is the best of the two, but the blue is certainly not a bad choice either. After that, before we dive into the collab and the tees, we also have the Gore-Tex Tape Seam Trooper. This came in colors to complement the parka and also the floral Gore-Tex Core Jacket. I've never worn troopers, I never plan on wearing troopers, I don't think troopers are my thing. I don't think they'll ever be my thing. That being said, I mean, you know, the black one looks kind of comfy. I'm sure it is comfortable to wear. You also have the other, how could I have forgotten this? The Supreme Santa Cruz Chameleon Bike dropped this week. It was in-store only, and it was limited to about, the problem with it saying what it was limited to is I don't know specifically. I think people were saying there were 100 max, but there were also different sizes I heard, like small, medium, large, extra large. I didn't check the website when I coughed this morning, so I have no idea what the sizes were, if there were sizes. However, the drop actually didn't say that they sold out. We'll get back to that, we'll double check that. But the bike dropped, it's a mountain bike. I don't know much about the bike, aside from the fact that it collabed with Supreme this week. I think it's an interesting looking bike. It's uh, certainly a very expensive bike at $2.7,000. $2,700, it's certainly not for me. <laughs> so that's certainly not happening. Before we get into more holiday things, we had the Supreme New York Camp Cap. It was the same kind of pattern as the puffer that dropped earlier, the thermal pieces. I don't like the colors, I don't like the design, I didn't like it on the jackets or the thermals, I especially don't like it on a hat, so that's a pass for me as well. Now let's jump into the collab this week and the holiday stuff. So to start off we had the Supreme Marvin Gaye collab announcement and they used the artwork from Marvin Gaye's What's Going On album. I'll put it right up here while I'm talking about it. It came on t-shirts, hoodies, and decks. Honestly, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. It's it's a nice collab. It's it's simple. 
I feel like Supreme could have done more with it. Of the items, I think my favorite has to be the deck. That has to be my favorite piece from this collab because it's the largest image and I like the big image. The hoodie and the t-shirt, it, it's a small square and I don't really, I don't really like that as much. However, I don't think it's a bad collab. I think they chose good colors for it too. There was a dark green, a purple, a brown. Uh, for the tees, they also had like a red, a navy, a purple, a black, a yellow. So it was a colorful collab for sure in terms of like shirt and hoodie pieces. I just think that they put just the album right there, like they could have maybe thrown some text on there or something, done a little bit more with it. But I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here. Let's, let's move on. We we're talking about the smile tee next. This tee... I think if I didn't get the other two that I wanted, I would have gone for this. However, this was not my top priority tee, but I think it's a really cool tee. This is by the same guy, this is by Sanchito, the same guy who made the dog tape team jacket and the dog varsity jacket and the bone hat. I think his stuff is awesome. I think it's incredibly underrated and I think this is no different. I think this t-shirt is really cool. I think the color choices are really cool, and you know, it looks like graffiti, and that's awesome. I love that. Up next, we have the Bombay tee. This tee was actually supposed to, or was not supposed to, this tee was speculated to have dropped spring of 2018. However, it did not. And then we were anticipating it for the first week of fall, and again, it did not. But it finally dropped. It dropped in a plethora of colors. So you had the black, the yellow, the gray, the purple, the blue, the red. The white. I think this t-shirt is super dope. When I first saw it, I really wanted to get it, and I was anxiously waiting for it during the spring, uh, the summer tees when they dropped. However, now I did, I did acquire it. I'll post the one that I picked right up here. I got the purple one because I think that's a cool color with it. So we had the beanie, we had the hoodie. Now we have the cat and the hat tee. This t-shirt, I think, is really cool because it's cat in the hat. <laughs> I think everyone really went crazy for it because of how nice it looked. I'm pretty sure a bunch of people were also probably, you know, oh my god, it's a box logo. It's a logo in the center of a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's probably part of it as well. I personally acquired it just because I think it looks cool. Um, I'll post the one I got right up here as well. Because I did manage, this week was very easy to cop in my opinion. Everything was kind of slow. I was able to cart twice. I don't have any footage of it, unfortunately, because by the time I started recording, it was 10.59, and I didn't have time to set myself up properly. But I did get the yellow, and I did get the Bombay. They were both easy, in my opinion, to get. It was totally possible manual. I don't use any sort of bot. I use autofill, just like everyone else. Uh, the colors are really dope. I, if I didn't get the yellow, I would have totally gotten the olive. I think I chose the yellow for a uh, more colorful reason anyway. Now, I'm purposely skipping over the Ludens, but now that I've talked about all the teas, we can talk about the Ludens set. So we have a Ludens beanie, a Ludens t-shirt, and the Ludens cough drops. Yes, I got the cough drops. I figured it's a it's a gag piece, it's a joke. I bought them with the with my cat in the hat cart. Uh, when I get them, I'll definitely show them to you guys. You can check out the Instagram. I finally have the Instagram set up. It is at Benjamin.Kadish. No spaces, no caps. I'll put it right down here as I'm talking about it. Follow me, make sure to check it out. I don't have anything up yet, but there will be something soon. So just stick around. But that being said, we're talking Ludens, the cough drops, that was in a preview for the accessories of this season. They're still sitting. Then we had the T, and then we had the B, like I mentioned. I think they're both, I think all three of them are kinda whack. I think the Ludens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them, it's just gonna be cough drops with a Supreme branding on the box. I'm not expecting like a Supreme etched into every single cough drop. The T's kinda cool, I guess. I think if anything, it looks best on the purple and the blue. I know the blue was previewed, but I think it looks best on the purple or the blue. And then the beanie, it came in a black or a blue. I would have never gotten the Ludens beanie. I think it's kind of funny that it happened, but anyway, we also have, did I not mention, the Santa ornament. 
This is the piece that dropped for the holidays. Supreme does this every year, if I'm not mistaken. And they, this is no different in the sense that last season, fall, winter, they did a t-shirt. I think fall, winter 16, they did a t-shirt too. I'll double check. Uh, this year they did an ornament. They usually do it right before Christmas. I guess they did it this time around earlier because Christmas is on a sooner weekday. Not a bad choice by Supreme. That was the entire drop this week. So let's also mention the price list, which I'll put right up here as well. What did you guys get this week? I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, did you get multiple items? Did you think it was as easy as I did? Did you have a hard time? Did you get card declined? I don't know if that's still going on. I'll also put the sellout times right up here. I know the Navy sold first really quick for the Cat in the Hat shirt, which I anticipated. What I didn't anticipate was the Gore-Tex jacket also selling quick, which I thought was a little strange. And then from my, based on my memory, which is, you know, fantastic memory. Uh, the tees stuck around for a little bit longer. The Marvin Gaye stuff sold out a little bit after. Overall, I think it was a pretty calm week. Now, before I send you guys off, I do want to quickly show off. Last week was Supreme Box logos, as many of you know. So, I did acquire. I don't know how I did it, but I did acquire. This has got to be the greatest thing. <laughs> this is not the greatest thing. This has got to be the coolest, luckiest cop, I guess I'll say. This is the navy one, and I honestly, I was not expecting to get navy, but what I ended up doing was getting navy anyway. The trick was waiting for restocks. This time around box logos, the site did not lag, which threw me off. However, after sellout times, after seeing what restocked, I frantically clicked around on a bunch of them, adding them to my card, seeing which ones stuck. Eventually the Navy checked out. I got the order email, I got the shipping email, and here it is. So it's totally possible to get a box logo with no bot for retail, just like it's possible to get anything Supreme for retail without a bot. You just gotta know how to be quick, you gotta know when to check, and you gotta know how to fill things out. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. Be sure to stick around, leave a like, tell me what, you th what your thoughts on this week were the in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.